Welcome back, babies. It's your girl AJ up in the built-in baby. Do not mind a bunny. I didn't feel like doing my hair today. I honestly didn't feel like getting dressed, but we are dressed today. We're making it through. We're getting up and we're doing it. Okay, you guys. I am trying over here. This will be video number two this week. I told y'all I was coming back. I told y'all I'm coming back slowly, but I'm coming. Okay, you guys. Now, today we will be doing my favorite thing, supplementing, just supplementing some things. So as a small business, I think of ways to brand my business without it just being shirts. You can brand your business with more than just shirts i love to tell people to think outside the box so because of that that's why we are here today so i got some stuff from heat trends the warehouse you guys i'm gonna leave a link down below for you guys that we will be testing out and branding together now y'all as a business i i like not even a business owner mom whatever you can run an ipad your laptop you need something for it right so we're gonna be stuff made in a laptop case that we got from heat Trans warehouse this is a 15 inch laptop case you guys so you are able to supplement the front of this and also the back so freaking cool and like definitely for me I like I be on the go my husband be driving we be with the kids and everything I don't even want to take a book bag with me like nothing is heavy put it in here I do wish they had like a strap one but actually it's like um I don't want anything straps I'm not a book bag person things hurt my shoulder so I actually think this would be better just like grabbing it hold it boom go about my day versus having a strap laptop case so we're going to submit a custom laptop case and I think this is going to be great for small businesses. Definitely, you know, branding it to them and offering it on my website if you are interested in a custom laptop case. You can put your pictures on here, kids pictures, or you can put your logo. So today I'm going to put my logo on here on both sides so that way I could just be more branded when I'm out, Starbucks, Walmart, whatever, in a car. Oh, I go with my husband to his little trips sometimes for me and the kids. I be having my case with me. So I think this would be great for that. So yes, I think it would be great for that. Now the next thing we will be supplementing today also is a mouse pad, you guys. So my idea is that when you own a go, definitely for me, I don't know about you guys. I, I'm a mouse girl. I don't care what laptop I have, MacBook, tablet, whatever. I like to be able to connect a Bluetooth mouse to it. That's just me and the guess what? I can't always just rub it on my body to make the mouse move. 
So why not have a custom mouse pad with the laptop case in one? So I can literally pack this in here with the laptop on the go. It's all in here at one time. I feel like it's going to be so freaking cute to have. Okay, so we're going to be doing a laptop um, case and a mouse pad. So this mouse pad is just one side. The other side is like some foam, some rubber. And then you have the information side on one side. I also got this from Teacher's Warehouse. Last. Now this one right here is something I want to try because it's like, how is it going to work? <laughs> like, how do you do this? And I've been seeing a lot of people do some magnets. So I thought this would be freaking cool to do. You guys, we will be pressing a magnet. This is a two by two magnet that I got from Heat Church Warehouse. If I'm not mistaken, it comes in a pack because I think I have like one left. So if it don't come out right, we do got an extra one to practice. <laughs> but we do have a magnet so for my idea for this i'm telling myself you can put the magnet on your car you can put it on the laptop can you put this on your laptop i don't know but i know you put stickers on there so i don't know about a magnet but you probably can you can put it on your refrigerator and you can also get this out to customers inside of their bags as a little gift burning yourself with a qr code for me i'm just going to put my logo on this one too so we'll be doing all three things today so we actually printed out our papers already as you saw in the video now I did have to slice the designs in half. I will insert a video of me, um, like a stream recording of me doing the slicing the pictures in half. Just to show you how you slice it in half. Now, here is here it is right here. So we do have to piece it together. So we're going to piece it together. And after we piece it together, we will be pressing it. So I will be using the HTV Run Auto Press today, you guys, to press it. And speaking of HTV Run Auto Press, you guys, y'all know me and I know the sales. I always got you. They are having a carnival sale today, you guys. So go out, go check their website out. You can actually get like almost 20% off of heat presses. Hat press, you can get almost like $10 off. Check them out. I'm going to go find the code for you guys. I'm going to leave it down in the description box below. If you are interested in it, you can get it at a little discount price. $20 off. Child, I will take $20, $30, $50, whatever. It's a discount and I will take it. I'm always running with the discounts. Okay, honeys? But we do have both designs right here that we will have to place together to make one for design to go in the laptop case. So let's go ahead and start piecing this together. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm going to just piece together one side for you guys so you can see the other side I do off camera because it's literally going to be the same thing. So this is both pages. I did do two separate pages. I'm scared about the red. It doesn't look as vibrant as I want, but that's how it is. If you know submation, submation does not look vibrant the first time. So what I'm going to do is take the scissors. I'm going to trim one side of it. Try to get as close as I can. Some people take it and put it on a Cricut or their silhouette and have the machine cut it. You can also do that too. Definitely if you're doing like all over shirts and stuff, that'd probably be smart to do it that way. But for me, it's just like, hey, I don't think I need to do that. Dirty right here. Today is Wednesday already. This week is going by super fast. I can't believe like we're about to be halfway through the year. Okay, we cut it down. So now what I'm going to do is, what I like to do is take some heat transfer tape and put it on the back side. So that way it can hold it when I place it on. And if I need more, I add some more. You do not want to put heat transfer tape in the front because the front is what you submit. So I'm putting it on the back. So I'm going to go ahead and now place it as best as I can. I do see a little bit of white over here. So I'm going to go in and just try to trim that white down. Just a little bit of a white that I don't want. And I'm going to sit here and I'm going to line it up. So simple. Line it up. As best as I can. And then pressing it down. So just that simple. So I can go behind now and add some more tape if I need to. Just add a little bit more tape. Now. Oh, dub. I still see a little bit of white right here. And that's going to hurt my nerves. So 
So what we're going to do is press the red part first and then I press the logo just to make sure. Just lining it up from the bottom and make sure that everything is straight and nothing's crooked. Boom. Once I do that, I'm going to turn it around and then put some more tape on here. Don't be stressing yourself out if it looks crazy. You can also look on the back and I can see like, okay, that is uneven once again. And that's okay because I want the papers to also line up. That's why I did leave it where the box, I meant like, you know, the whole 14 inches was there. Because if the paper don't line up, guess what? The design not lining up. That's what that means. The paper don't line up, the design don't line up. It's simple as that. All right. Boom. Now we are good to go. I'm going to just tape it a little bit more on the edges. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. And this is how I taped it. Simple. And this is the design. Let's go ahead and press it. I'm going to trim around it too. Matter of fact, I can go ahead and trim around it. Because now I don't need none of that. I don't too much need to get as close as I need to. I just need to trim around it. So I'm just trimming. Trimming it up some. Alright you guys, let's go ahead and go press it. Alright you guys, so we are going to be using HTV Run Auto Heat Press. We do have the parchment paper right here. I get my parchment paper off of Amazon. Check out my Amazon store. So, this is HTV Run 15 by 15 Auto Heat Press. Like I told you guys, check out HTV Run now. I don't know when they sell ends, but you are able to get almost $20 off. Literally not, no 20%, $20 off off a heat press you can almost get like ten dollars off a hat press you guys so make sure you're checking out their website i'm gonna leave a link down below for you guys first thing we're going to be pressing and you guys have asked me about htb run auto heat press before is it able to do certain things because i really don't use it like that i'm just a person that like the starcraft but you know what i told you i'm gonna be bringing it out some more we're going to be doing a magnet first so this is the two by two magnet that we got from heat transfer warehouse so this heat press is going all the way, boom, it's already there. I'm about to say it's going all the way somewhere. It's at 405 already. I did set mine at just an extra little temperature. That's just me. So it comes with the rectangle magnet. It's like almost a MDF chip. So it's a little bit thick, so not so bad. And this is the magnet. It comes with a magnet that you put on after you're done. This is, I had a question. I was like, do I already have a magnet on there? Because if it do, it's going to be messed up. So this is it. You put the magnet on once we're done. So we're going to put this right here. Put the magnet to the side. Now, most stuff be having like a film on top. This doesn't look like it has a film on top. Don't look like a film is on here. We're going to try to see first. Okay, no film is on there. Let's get a lint roller to roll off the little bit of dirt that's on there, too. I need to buy another lint roller. <laughs> just get some dirt off. So, just lint roll it. to Get some that little bit of dirt off of that. Boom. Now, let's get the design that we printed out. So, we kind of printed out everything at one time. So, y'all, I just had the design. Oh, Lord, y'all think the kids can't have moved them? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, this is the design right here. It's my logo that I did. Just testing out some things. So, I'm going to go ahead and flip it back. So, I can align everything up how I want. So, I measured two by two. But, I think you could do almost like 1.8. Trying to make sure it's also straight and not crooked. If it is, then guess what? The logo will be cricket. Mm. That looks good to me. Let's get some heat transfer tape. I just brought some more. I'm liking this 20 mm thick tape versus the skinny one. I'm going to 
press this just like regular submission, six, 60 seconds, you know, 400. Now, because this is the MDF chip, I'm going to submit with the MDF back, like the back part of it facing up and the design is down. So the design is also already mirrored already as you guys know when you're doing submission mirror your designs just making sure it is like straight and not crooked hey it's a tester we do got some more but I also want to make sure it's decent all righty and we're going to use it the auto press for this <laughs> we're going to see how it go with the auto press y'all <laughs> and i'm going to basically take the parchment paper and fold it over just to help for bleeding and everything like that so fold it over and we're going to go ahead and slide it on in and see how it goes boom so i did it the mdf chip facing down instead of like facing up with the design on up part just because i want to make sure it is getting pressed all the way i feel like if i do it facing up it won't look right so we're gonna see how it go all right we got about 22 seconds left let me go ahead and get my heat gloves you guys so i don't burn myself <laughs> okay got the heat gloves oh y'all it smell like wood nah. heat gloves safety first i have burnt myself plenty of times i don't want to burn myself again <laughs> all right let's go See how it go. Oh, okay. Ooh, this thing is clean. I can see the colors went. Okay, y'all ready? I can see it went because just the outside of it, so. Woo! Probably should let it cool down a little bit. Let's get it. See. I think it went. Let me look first before I let y'all let. Let me see. See that? This is when y'all do a slow peel, y'all. Staying hot. Look at the colors. Oh my gosh! Do y'all see the colors on here? Oh gosh, get some tape off. My tape. Hold up. Hold up. And let me move you over some. Do y'all see the colors on here? This thing is so vibrant. I could have um, pressed some more dirt off. I see it did have something left on there. But it looks good. Oh. Got to take the glove off. Do y'all see how it came out? It came out good. This is freaking cute. So vibrant. Colors are popping. It's bomb, okay? Bomb. Bomb, bomb, diggity. <laughs> so, now that it's done, you're supposed to put the magnet. Ooh, that's hot. We can't use this. Let's go ahead and move this aside. Can't use it. Let me get the tape off my hand. I need a lint roll to, um... Try. Let me lint roll this while I'm thinking about it now. Actually, gonna see if I can wash this sometime. So let's find the magnet part. So you have it. You're supposed to put the magnet behind it. So. Take this off. Boom. And now you have a magnet. Is this? No, that was wrong. That was. Nope, not a magnet. <laughs> oh, the magnet is done and it's freaking beautiful. It's beautiful. Now that we are done with the magnet, let's go ahead and move on. Y'all, I'm trying to find something in here that's a magnet, but it ain't working. Let's move on to the mouse pad. This mouse pad is about 8.2 by 10. I added just a couple of inches. So let's go ahead and do the mouse pad. Like I said, everything came from Heat Trench Warehouse if you are wondering. 
if you are a business and you're looking for ways to bring yourself, y'all need to come on and come over here because AJ Unique Creations is going to get you right, baby. Let's go ahead and put the parchment paper on here like everything to set the heat press. But come on to AJ Unique Creations. Let me go ahead and get you right, baby. Because y'all be playing. I be having you out here bread and when you walk, they look like that. She go. I already know who she is, baby. I'm going to get you right. Don't play with me. So here go the design right here. I could have put like, you know, information down below, but I just kept it simple. So go ahead and do it. So I did do like extra space like I wanted it to be. So I did extra. That's because that's how I wanted it. Trying to make sure it's nothing too cricket or anything. That's probably the biggest thing is make sure it's not cricket. Tape really ain't going to go like I want. <laughs> Um, y'all may hear the kids y'all they just woke up from their nap so make sure so the tape I'm doing now is kind of just going to hold it down so I can flip it because honestly the tape not going to really do anything right now so now that we've done that so now what I'm going to do is kind of just tape it just a little bit to the parchment paper just to make sure it doesn't shift and give me any ghosting because I don't want that some tape up here hold it to the parchment paper now let's get some more parchment paper and put on top of this to put the heat press so we done did a mdf chip now we have the mouse pad going in and after we're done with the mouse pad we'll be doing the laptop case gonna go ahead and let this press and we'll be back when it's done everything coming out so well and like i said you guys want this heat press this is the htv run auto heat press make sure you are checking out the links in my description box and you can check out their sale they have a sale going on right now it is a carnival sale you could get a auto heat press for literally twenty dollars less so they give you a twenty dollar discount you can get the hat press for twenty dollar no no i think it's ten dollar discount with the hat press i didn't know um i gotta go check in but you can get twenty dollar discount or a ten dollar discount like you guys check them out they always having sales that's why i kind of love htv run they have sales probably every other holiday and you can always stack up on what you need from them so check them out i'm gonna try to find a code for you guys and i'm gonna leave it down either in the description box or i put it on the screen i probably do both put it in a video in in the description box make sure you're checking them out boom we're done let's get the gloves protection protection I do got my fan running in the back. Just make sure everything is getting vented like it needs to. Let's go. Pull it on. I'm so happy I don't got to like lift anymore. That helps. This is kind of why I like this auto heat press. And now that I'm like, y'all know, seven months. Lifting ain't probably going to be the best bet right now. So this right here definitely is pregnant friendly. <laughs> pregnant friendly, you guys. Check it out. It's pregnant friendly, okay? Dump it to the side. We clean up at the end, y'all. We ain't gonna lie. We ain't gonna front like we do it all the time. We're gonna clean up at the end. Let it cool down just a little bit. All right, we let it cool down. Let's go ahead and peel this baby, y'all. The colors are ready on that empty us chip. <laughs> and I got all righty. Let's go ahead. Yeah, wave it like it's Christmas. Yes, say who. Baby, when I speak on AJ Unique Creations, I'm branded to the T. Don't be talking about me because you come around me and I'm branded to the T. Yeah. <laughs> now we have a logo mouse pad. So when we at our desk or for me, like when I'm teaching classes or one-on-one -on -one classes or we at Starbucks, it's like, girl, who that is? That's my brand, honey. You know the brand. I can also get this out just if I'm at pop-ups. Why not? Freaking cute. Loving it. Loving it. It pressed beautiful too. Nice. That was a beautiful press even throughout. Loving it so far. Stay branded. Stay branded. Hey. <laughs> ah! Definitely because I make logos all the time. I keep like changing my logos up, you guys. It kind of adds to like I always got to make some new products for myself. And I do like that because it gives me the chance to show you guys something new, something fun. And you can just can see the things that you could create with your logo. We got two things down. Let's go ahead and get the laptop case done. All right. So let's go ahead and get the laptop case done. 
trash, trash, trash. Now, for the laptop case, we are going to be doing almost four presses because we're going to do the front design with the background color of the red, and then from there, we'll be doing the logo on top of there. And that's just because that's kind of how I did it. And let's just see if you could do two presses, do a two submission presses. <laughs> Should we? I don't know, but hey, we're trying it out. It's gonna, I'm letting you know if you could do it or not. Let's go ahead and take this out. I do also love that when you order from Heat Transfer Warehouse, everything comes individually wrapped, and I think that's good because you could read packages like that. Now, I think for this, you have to watch out for the zipper. That's gonna be the important thing about it, watching out for the zipper. So let me go ahead and get my lint roller for you guys, and let's lint roll it. Fresh new lint roll. Let's get a fresh lint roll going up on here. Clean this baby out. Now, for me, um, I feel like I haven't did a lot of talk case in a minute. You're supposed to open up the zipper because I don't want to heat press it closed. So this is how it looks inside. It's like a foam. So we are going to do both sides, front and back on here. So... Yeah, I just left the zippers on. That's what I'm going to do. I don't believe it will bleed through, but we're going to test this thing out. We'll find out today if it is. It bleeds through. You learn from me. Don't do it. <laughs> if it bleeds through, you learn from me. Don't do it. So, we do have the background that we pieced together, as you can see. Now, we're going to place it on top. So, you could tell what we pieced it together, but it does blend in because it is shades. So, we're going to place it on top. line it up with everything and I'm just gonna put some tape on here just to hold it down so it won't be no ghosting just because how the material is should we be pressing it like this I don't know we're testing this thing out together we're gonna find out now if we should test it like this I feel like it's supposed to do it's supposed to go the other way I don't know y'all we testing this out <laughs> Probably could have made it a little bit bigger. I don't even think tape is going to work. Just like, I don't even think that's going to work. Okay, let's just bring it up. It don't seem like the tape is going to hold it. Usually for stuff like this, you probably want to have some foam inside. Like something inside, like a pushing thing. We don't got that. So we're just going to have to see if it works like this. Honestly. Try best to tape it down. Hold it down. Hey, that's the best I could do. Parchment paper. And let's see. I'm actually going to bring it down. Just, there we go. 400. And I'm just going to slide this up. Just to make sure it's underneath everything. This is a 15 inch. So this is a 15 by 15 heat press. Let's go ahead and see. Would that auto press actually work for this? Oh, we tested it out. We see it, y'all. It's closing. We're going to see. We're going to see. Okay, let's see. Let's see. I'm actually kind of a little bit scared because I feel like it didn't get the press that it need. I just feel like it didn't get the press that it need to, y'all. I don't know. Just don't think it got the press that it needed. Kind of weird. Alright you guys, it's still pressing. Ooh, I don't know. I just don't know. I just feel like this, when it comes out of something like this, you probably need to have it like pushed in. I don't know y'all. We're testing it out and seeing though. So I pressed it again. I just don't believe it has the pressure that it needs. It probably need to be like slid onto something. It probably need to foam inside. But hey, we're testing it out. So far, everything else did good. This is the first time testing a laptop case. We're seeing how it goes. All right. I can tell you already, it shift. <laughs> I already know it shift. 
Um, I don't like the way that it pressed. Like, kind of feel wobbly now afterwards. So, yeah, like, it kind of feels just done with after that. Did not press too well for me. I don't know if it was the heat press or just how the design is for the laptop case. Will I be trying this again? I'm going to try this. I'm going to try it on a StarCraft to see if that makes a difference. But I definitely think because of the zippers, it kind of changed it. Unless I was supposed to keep this together and press. See, I don't like how the fabric is afterwards now. The fabric is just not how I like it. I feel like from the first part of it, it's not as comfortable or nice how it was before so i don't know if i will be pressing another laptop case and i just and it didn't turn out how i wanted it to there wasn't nothing to really actually grip it to unless you need the foam inside all right you guys we are done now we tried three different things to supplement not all of them came out well but they all did supplement now everything came from heat transfer warehouse and we did use htv run auto heat press number one thing do i recommend a heat press i still recommend a heat press because if it could supplement a mdf chip like it works okay it, it's nothing wrong with it but i do feel for the laptop case just for how the design is I think it's kind of just hard to supplement this. I'm going to try again. I'm going to get another one. I'm going to try again. And I'll probably be using the StarCraft heat press just to see what is the difference. Does it make a difference? Is it just that this is just something that you probably have to use a iron to heat press? Or you probably have to use a Cricut Easy Press to press it just because you need to do each side evenly. So I don't too much brain and heat blame the heat press just because of how it's made like even after heat pressing it it just doesn't feel as thick how it felt the first time it felt more fluffy to me it doesn't feel that way to me now i think i heat press it kind of just feels a little bit weakened to me so i don't know as you can see it did press but i also think just from how it's designed it didn't get the corner parts do we supposed to do it when the zipper is on? Take the zipper off? I don't know. You guys let me know. If you have tried a laptop case, let me know. DM me. Text it. Drop it down below in the comments and let me know if I pressed it wrong. And let's try this again because I can't get my answer to how this supplement yet. The colors that pass through. I just can't answer how well it will supplement if you are trying to sell this in a business. Will it be something consistent where I know this will press beautiful every time? Or something where it's just like, sometimes I may mess it up and have to buy the products once again. Okay, you guys. So, besides this, the other two things, oh my gosh. The colors on here. First off, this MDF magnet surprised me so much, you guys. It is so vibrant, bright, the colors, beautiful. Like, I love it. It came out amazing. Like, this is freaking cool. Sorry, I'm looking off to the side, you guys, my kids. Oh, yeah, this, this is a magnet. <laughs> I forgot. This is a magnet. Beautiful. Stuck to it. The magnet definitely works. I love that they give you the magnet separate to put on the back of it after you heat press it. I would definitely be buying more of these because I think it's so cool. Just something small you could get to people. Or if you know big businesses, they love getting magnets out. We are a big business, not a small business. In the mouse pad, it came out beautiful. It looks amazing. The colors are vibrant. It pressed with one press. No second presses. It looks good. Do you see this? Yes! Yes! I did do just a little extra on both sides, but both of these came out good. So trial and error from both of these, we at least got two out of three. <laughs> two out of three is better than none that we submitted today. And I think this was a fun 
video today just testing out some things to supplement because like i said supplementation is amazing there's so many things you could do with supplementation so i thought this video would be cool to do just to like see what can i do with supplementation what works and what doesn't work all the things you can possibly do so i wanted to just do like a fun video testing out some things for you guys that i haven't done before mouse pad came out beautiful definitely recommend getting that from heat trans warehouse in the magnet it actually sticks as you see it's sticking right now came out beautiful also the laptop case, we're going to give it one more go before I give you a full answer or definition to will you buy it? Should you buy this? Because I don't know yet. I don't know if it's the heat press or is it just the type of material it is. So we're just going to give it one more try before we actually answer that question. But if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell so you don't miss another video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.